Hey y'all, um, thanks for stopping by. Again, please subscribe if uh, you're digging what I'm doing. So moving on to another part of the project. We, I, I finished the, the elliptical vault, which in my first video, I don't know if you remember, if you saw it, but um, I said, you know, don't be afraid to try things. Honestly, this elliptical vault that I just sheetrocked and spackled would be my first one ever. So don't be scared. Um, all basic same basic principles to do it. It's just all curved and twisted. Anyway, so real quick, just want to go over what I'm doing to handle the um, vanity that I'm going to be building. It's going to be hanging on the wall and it's going to be cap, uh, kitchen cabinet depth, with the, which is 24. And it's going to be all um, drawers, full extension, you know, soft closed drawers and that whatnot. So that's a lot of weight to be hanging off the wall. So I came up with a way that I think should handle the load. And um, in the background, maybe you see the vault. Got second coat on that. Okay, check it out. So real quick, this is the basic vanity. There's going to be four drawers, and these are how my designs start. Um, this here is another ceiling that we're going to be doing. Kind of sketching it out so we can get an idea for getting on CAD. And that's just total boredom. Okay. So this wall here, I know it's hard. I know it's hard to see. Um, this is where the vanity will be hanging from. I'm standing in the closet, the master closet, um, next to the bathroom. So the vanity will be hanging on this wall. So, you know, with me with my trust issues, I'm not, I don't want to hang the vanity just on studs. So what I did was got some eighth inch steel and the steel I took and notched either end. This is the top for the double top plate. And on the bottom, there is a notch for the single plate. So how I'm going about this is I put all the studs in regular and then I took another stud, which I'll double, you know, double the studs. And this here, I notch the eighth and the eighth to make room for the steel. So once this goes in, it'll sit next to it and this will sit right alongside of it like so. Now obviously that's going to create issues when we shoot rock because it's going to stick out. So this one here is closer to the finish. And what I did was just notched out the top plate so that it sits flush. Also to connect these two what I'm doing is pre-drilling here through this stud and the steel and we'll secure it into that one keep it all nice and flush and what a difference in the strength now this is only eighth inch seal steel it's nothing spectacular you know um, hardened or anything so it's easy enough to work with and once this gets finalized to go in I will glue everything of course in between the steel in between the studs and everything to lock them in i'll put a lag bolt type bolt up there also in the bottom plate and i'll do that across five of these studs which is where most of the weight will be because they'll in from the bathroom the left side will just be a makeup table so that's about it there's our ellipse coming along so that's about it, and um, thanks for stopping by. I'm happy to receive comments. So um, have a great day. Thanks.